Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you a little bit how I'm doing my true scale Space Marines. Doing the top torso right now. Show you what you need. You're gonna need front chest piece terminator, terminator on, back piece of regular Space Marine. Pretty much any of them are the same, the Chaos or the Space Marines will work. Okay, what we're going to do is you're going to, sorry about that, you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut right through here. Make sure it's at a, the same angle as your neck piece there, right up through there. And once you do that, you take a piece of plastic card. and you cut it the length you want and you'll glue it in between the two. Now you might have a gap and what you want to do is line up you know the back top part with this down here. Even if you have a gap in here you're going to fill this in with green stuff. So you just line it up here with this here. And then you just smooth in I've done this one pretty rough. You can, uh, what I do, I've been using a two part mix of um, Magic Sculpt, mixing it, then mixing some green stuff, and using those 50 50 together. They give you, or you can sand some of the, your work, like I got a little bit, a little bit extra there. I can just sand that down. And it sands pretty, you know, pretty easily. It works a lot better than as far as uh, working after it's dry with just green stuff. Here is an old one that I did. It's one of my first ones. As you can see, um, this is just all green stuff on a regular to extend the body down. And if you notice, see that with the Terminator armor, you already have that, that look. And I'll show you what I've done with this one. See how put the tubes in, and that's what we're going for. The um, this one I just put the green stuff under it. See about and what you want to do. You'll push that in there and get the right, about the right size piece. And you want a gap up here. Then you just smooth it out. Make sure you know you're smooth around. And you want a slightly oval shaped, you know, much as you can get. And you want it kind of even with the back. And we'll let that dry. I still need to do this one. And I'm magnetizing all these so I can change the arms out. You can repose them. Like if you magnetize the head, you can change the direction of the head. I want to run and pose on that one. I'm uh, doing some work on some different kind of guns. I wanted a little different plasma gun. But um, that's about what I've done with the top parts of the chest pieces. I'm using, um, you can't really see it, the Tentacle Maker, um, let's see, uh, the Dismo. Big Mike put me onto it for the power cables here. And uh, just cutting the length that I want. Wait till after this dries. And what I'll do, I'll take my X Acto blade and mark exactly where I want each one to sit 
and might make just a tiny, tiny divot. Then I take my Dremel drill, and like I said, with the two-part mix, it's a lot easier to work. You can even take with your finger, make that little, that little groove that it's going to sit in, and there's your finished product there, how it comes out. And how I put these together, take all these pieces off. I've got to magnetize with little magnets in case I want to put different stuff on them. But I'll take him down to just the just the body. Okay. Here's another leg that I've just about what I'm working on and see how these see how this is going to work see how that fits pretty good right on there then you just take some some green stuff my two-part mixer however you want to say it and you'll just shape that in that one's a little rough on the belt I was just kind of experimenting on that one um, give you an idea guys of uh, Hollowed out the the center once once this one dries. We'll do this too, and we'll put a little green stuff there. And once you put the belt on, and then you insert that onto there, it gives it like a little locking almost. See, it ain't. That's not even. That's not a magnet on there. Hold it on, and it dents right in. This is a little mold I've made of my backpacks. Uh, went in and put a skull on this one. Wanted to see if I could, how close I could get a, a mold done. It's not superb quality. Still work in progress, but uh, I like uh, I like where this one's going. little weak magnets I've got on this one. Oh, very small ones. As you can see, I mean, it's not going to fall or nothing. So, I mean, you can't shake them apart. I mean, you can even pick them up by the shake them. Well, guys, uh, I'll let this one dry and get this one here finished finished up and we'll come back and the next video and I'll finish this uh, this one up and show you what we got there well, if you like what you see uh, subscribe and comment I'd like to know what you think see you next time guys